These days, libraries are offering a lot more than just books. The Indianapolis Public Library, for example, has tons of fun, free programming available for kids of all ages. And when I say kids of all ages, I mean talking about the adults too. Shell Weidenbach and Keisha McIntyre with the Indianapolis Public Library both join me this morning. Shell, good to see you. Keisha, good to see you. Thank Appreciate you, you coming on. Shell, I want to start with you first. You got an extensive fall programming lineup. Talk about that. So we have tons of stuff um, for kids and adults alike. Okay. Um, I'm focused on the kids. <laughs> um, you can go to any one of our branches and grab our program guide. Um, and this has all of the programs available for kids zero to 18. We have Dungeons and Dragons classes for teenagers, uh, woodworking also. We have uh, Parachute Tell Fitness. us about Parachute Fitness. Okay, so Parachute Fitness um, is provided by an organization called Jump Bunch. Okay. And they come in and it's at almost every branch. Um, and uh, you play with a parachute. I mean, what more can be, f it's so fun. And um, really studies show that physical um, development really complements literacy and uh, helps build those gross motor and fine motor skills for pre-writing. I believe that. And you also have this Lego block party and character clubhouse design too. So the yes. kids probably are all in that. They're all in it. It's very, very fun. There are also family game nights. Who can attend those and what kinds of games do they actually play? Okay. So uh, family game nights are at most of our branches are offering it now. Um, they have a selection of board games. Uh, lots of newer ones. We also partnered with the Spiel Foundation and they just sent every branch a new set of games oh, cool. um, to try. So uh, there are all kinds of games from competitive to non-competitive and really help build those relationships and conversations. Makes sense. Keisha, how do these events support literacy development? They support literacy development because a lot of things that you don't think of when you think of literacy actually plays into um, helping kids become more literate. Like there's obvious things like the story times where kids are hearing a story and just listening to that story helps them pick up on things like words and letters. Um, but then there's also aspects of um, play that can also build onto those skills as well. Um, and a lot of our programs that we have tie into different st priorities, strategic priorities that we have, including financial literacy, including um, digital literacy, and things of that nature. So um, kids might take part in parachute class, like she was mentioning, but that also ties into our health and wellness priority. Right. Or they might take part in um, a class where they're learning to design a clubhouse, and that's teaching them some architecture skills, but it's also tying into things of the nature of like um, learning that new new skills and new educational tools so it's really helpful. That's something that potentially they will take away from these programs. Yeah, yeah. so it might like spark a new interest and mm -hmm. get them to be like hey I really like building stuff or hey I really like um, working with my hands and creating art so then they'll take that forward and try new things. That's awesome. Before we go, I want to talk to you about the Pause to Read program and the Graphic Novel Book Club. Okay. Um, so we discovered this summer the graphic novels were the hottest item in the summer reading program. Um, so one of our branches is spearheading a, there is actually a graphic novel book club for kids, but there's also one for adults. Um, and graphic novels are novels. I mean, they're amazing. Some of them are very serious. Um, but I highly recommend them. We actually have a graphic novelist, Jean Luen Yang, coming okay. on October 9th, and he is going to uh, be presenting, and he wrote American Born Chinese. Okay. Um, so we're really excited about that. I love the fact that the both of you are here and you're so passionate about reading and literacy, and you both are working at the Public Library downtown. Yeah. Shale Weidenbach and Keisha McIntyre, thank you both for coming on this morning.